Hi, I'm Patty Mullen, and I want to show you Buckaroo. Buckaroo is the tool I built to expedite exploratory data analysis with Jupyter and Pandas. Let's get started, and we're going to load a data set about city bike trips in 2014. We import Buckaroo and Pandas, and then we just display the data frame. Buckaroo becomes the default way to display data frames uh, in Jupyter once it's imported. So here we can see we have 300,000 rows and 15 columns, various names, and we can sort on these. So let's sort on trip duration. So we can see the highest trip duration, shortest trip duration. We can also view summary stats for all of this. And we can see stop time is a date time. Um, it's not parsed as that yet, but we, our summary stats told us that. Let's go through here, and we can also add our transform data frame and command palette. So now we have a UI for doing transforms per column. So we're going to click on the start station name column, click group by, and now we get the transforms we want to do for each uh, other column. So for trip duration, we're going to do a mean and we're going to take a count of start station ID. We can see the transform data frame down here, and this is count of start station IDs. So that's how many trips emanated from each station. We can see the Pershing Square was the most popular, and it had a mean trip duration of 685 seconds. We can also click on Python and see the generated code for this transform. Clean. DF and you get the same data frame out. One of the ways that Buckaroo is fast is we sa sample data. So there are 300,000 total rows, but we're only displaying a subset of them, about 5,000 rows plus the minimum and maximum value for each column, which makes which allows sorting to work well. Let's look at another data set. So here, this is a list of bank failures, and there are only 566 rows here. So we're going to see every single row, and we can scroll through this. Um, we also displayed this in a different way. We used the actual Buckaroo widget, so we have a reference to this, and I'm going to show you how to add a new command to Buckaroo. So down here, we have a filter GT command. And what we want to do is, say we wanted to filter certification for every row greater than 20,000. We execute this command, this cell, with the add command decorator. And now if you'll look, you see filter GT in your list of commands. So we can click on cert, filter GT, and 20,000. You see the transformed results down here. You can install Buckaroo by pip install Buckaroo. Thank you.